Hi everyone, we are back after a 6 month break. After uploading the first video, I was too busy to make any new contents. But recently I noticed a steady increase in our subscribers and views and thought there were many people out there who needed information that I could provide. So I decided to start being more diligent about making videos. There were a lot of you uh, who asked me why I haven't uploaded more videos and also many who had more questions about our last videos. One of the most frequent questions I get from foreigners living abroad or visiting Korea on a tourist visa is what should I do if I want to work in Korea? First of all, in order to work in Korea, you either have to be hired by an employer or do business by starting your own company. Of the two, if you are looking to set up your own company, then you will most likely apply for a business visa, the D8. The D8 visa will enable you uh, a relatively stable residency and better treatment overall. So in this video, we will talk about the D8 visa. Today's topic, what is a D8 visa? The D8 visa is a corporate investment visa that is issued to those who establish a corporation in Korea and do business here. Usually, if you set up a corporation with your own investment money, you can apply for a D8-1 visa. What's important here is the investment money, which must be a minimum of 100 million Korean won. It was 50 million won a few years ago, but the law has changed since then, which gives us the reason to believe that this 100 million Korean won could also be raised in the future. Therefore, uh, for those of you with um, extra funds now, I suggest you set up your company now rather than later. However, with 100 million won being such a large sum of money, there are many people who ask if they could borrow the money from a third party and pay it back in the future. The answer to this is a solid no. The source of your investment money is the most important element in your visa issuance. Therefore, the safety way to go about this is to arrive in Korea with the entire amount of investment money in cash, uh, pass through airport security, and report it to customs afterwards. There are some countries where over a certain amount of foreign cash is not allowed it to be carried out. In this case, I will advise you in accordance with your individual situation. If you have already arrived in Korea with either a tourist visa or something else, you can transfer the investment money to your own account and then proceed to report it. It should also be noted that the sender must be your direct family member and you must be able to prove this. If the, if the investment is less than 300 million won, uh, the visa screening is rather difficult. The visa issuance can be limited depending on various factors. You must thoroughly prepare evidence of the spending of the investment money and prove that you have experience running businesses in your home country, etc. And since your visa issuance can be limited depending on various factors, it would be beneficial for you to consult with an experienced attorney in this field. For our D81 visa, the maximum period of stay is 5 years. Because it gives you up to 5 years of residency, uh, it is regarded as a hardly a preferable visa option. However, this 5 years is not granted to all D81 visa applicants and is determined at the discretion of the immigration officer based on the various factors, including the sum of investment money and authenticity of the project. If you are currently in Korea, your current status will determine whether you can change your visa to a D8 or not. For example, a uh, group tourists who were admitted purely for tourism cannot change their visa to the D8 during their stay and must return to their home country first and return. The advantage of the D8 visa is that once you have some business performance reports and the investment period requirement is met, you can apply for a resident visa. For example, if your investment is over 300,000 US dollars and you have employed two or more Korean citizens, or 
your investment is over 500,000 US dollars and you've resided in Korea for over three years, you can apply for the F2 visa. While residing uh, on this visa, uh, if you meet another set of requirements, you could even apply for the F5 visa for permanent residence. Today we looked at the Corporation Investment Visa, also known as the VA visa. For any questions regarding the establishment of a company, the fees or other questions regarding the VA visa, please don't hesitate to email me at jl.kim at lawline.kr. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and we will see you on my next video.